Tis the season for heartwarming holiday films. There's an all new one coming up premiering on the Paramount Network this Sunday called Dashing in December. It's a great film. Also, it was filmed right here in Utah and I happen to know the star horse. So I checked in with two of the other stars recently. Let's take a look. It's that time of year for holiday feel good movies and we've got one just for you today. I am speaking with Juan Pablo de Pache and Peter Porte about their film Dashing in December. So grateful both of you are here joining us today on Park City Television. Thank you for having us. Juan Pablo, let's start with you. Tell me more about this film, Dashing in December. It's a very charming film. It couldn't come at a better time. Uh, it is a holiday movie about uh, Wyatt, uh, played by Peter, a prodigal son who comes home to sell his family ranch, um, his mom, played by Andrew McDowell. The decision to sell is not going to be very popular. When he gets there, he finds out that there's another guy working there that he doesn't know, Heath. And um, the story takes a little bit of a romantic turn, and uh, we see what happens with this ranch. Um, it is a, it is a, one of its kind. We're very happy to be part of, of this new wave of um, LGBTQ plus uh, holiday films. And, um, and, uh, and it's exciting. It's exciting. It's a really charming uh, story. And Peter, tell me more about your character, Wyatt. Uh, Wyatt, um, <clears throat> it's exciting. Okay, first of all, um, I, I, I've done a number of uh, holiday movies, and I love doing Christmas movies. I love the process of making them during the summer, and that they uh, offer escapism and something beautiful to share with your entire family during the holiday season. Um, and this one was a little unique in that uh, uh, Paramount really let us step out of the traditional tropes of the Christmas movie, especially in um, in how well-rounded our, our characters were allowed to be. Typically, they're, they're pretty kind and um, uh, uh, sweet, right? Um, and in this case, I think they let me be um, not so great in the beginning. I think he... He has his own internal struggles that he has to deal with about coming home. He doesn't really like to be back there. He's he's haunted by a lot of ghosts of his past. Um, and then on top of that all, he's met with this new guy that is in many ways taken over his role as an absent son, as an absent best friend, and as an absent owner of this glorious huge ranch that we, we shot on in Utah. So. Um, uh, it was really fun to kind of tackle that in a Christmas movie. Um, it's a, he's a complex character, and uh, and um, he gets to, and also he gets to ride a horse. Why we we both get to ride horses in this movie, which was which was a ton of fun. That was the first time I actually ever met uh, JP in person because we spent the first seven days in quarantine in our hotel, and the first day that we were released from our holding, we went to a ranch and got to meet our horses for the first time. And I believe one of those horses I actually know is at a ranch right here in Park City. No way, which one do you know? Really? Um, the big white one. <laughs> oh, yeah. Olaf. Olaf. Yes, yes, beautiful oh. horse, absolutely beautiful. Beautiful Olaf, so sweet. He was, I actually got the horse that, uh, that was the most doc docile, I think. Uh, Olaf but would do whatever I asked him to um, and he's got some junk in the trunk as well Olaf he's 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 like a, a booty a booty horse oh yeah I just um, saw her last week and was told that she's starting in this film so I'm excited to see her on the big screen as well as both <laughs> of you and of course Juan Pablo so this just seems like a very rich yet realistic story that everyone will be able to relate to Yes, yes. I mean, it, it, it. Jake Heldren, who wrote and directed the movie, did a beautiful job of really sort of making these characters three-dimensional. Um, usually, the formula of Christmas movies can be a little more simplistic, and uh, 
And th this film, and also thanks to Paramount Network, which, you know, opted for an LGBTQ plus story as one of their first uh, movies to, to produce, because they're then going to move into, I think, making 52 movies a year, but our movie is one of the first. So all that has been really, really wonderful. And, um, and yeah, the story is, is uh, it's super, you know, heartfelt in the best possible way. It's romantic. It's like a big romance, you know, it's like, it's like um, uh, the notebook, but with, with two guys, you know what I mean? So, so I had never done a story like this before in my career. You know, it's usually either comedy, comedy, really crazy comedy or drama, high drama. So it was really awesome to be experiencing uh, with Peter um, this kind of script and, and, and story, which, sure, it's two guys, but it is also two people uh, falling in love. Uh, and that's like the takeaway from, from, from the season, you know, in general, with these awesome movies coming out that have LGBTQ plus characters. They're all um, positive, uh, loving relationships portrayed in each of them. And, and ours, I think, is, um, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not biased at all, but it, it, it's very special to us because uh, it's a beautiful script. I'm so looking forward to watching it. Of course, we're excited because it was filmed right here in Utah in our home state, right in our backyard, actually. So, yeah. Peter, how can we watch? How can we be sure that we don't miss this incredible film? Sorry, say that again? Uh, how can we watch? We want to make sure we don't miss this film. Oh, it's this Sunday, December 13th at 7 p.m. on the Paramount Network. Well, thank you so much, Juan Pablo and Peter, for joining us today. So looking forward to watching Dashing in December, and we appreciate you taking the time to talk with us here on Park City Television. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Happy holidays.